My name is Richard Ballard and today I'd like to tell you a little bit about this unique product from the Nash Terminal Tackle Range, the Trigger Link. Trigger Link's available in four braking strains, that's 15, 20, 25 or 30 pound. It's actually been around for about five years but um, I think it's helped me put a few of the more, more riggy fish on the bank. The reason for this, as you can see, it comes off the spool, zero stretch like any other braid you've seen before. But with the trigger link, it's woven from a high melt PVA and a Dyneema braid. The end result is when you immerse the rig into water, it will shrink by one third of its dry length, creating this bungee effect. As you can see, the rig's got a good amount of stretch to it there. I'll talk you through that in a moment. Your rig options with the trigger link are endless, but today I'm just gonna show you a few of my favorite rigs. We'll start with a straight through trigger link rig. So this means that the hair, the whole entire rig, is made from trigger link. It's a simple bottom bait rig incorporating a fang uni and a little bit of shrink tube. Nothing complicated. Second rig I'm gonna show you, it's just a simple combi rig. I've, uh, I've created this using an oval rig ring and a small amount of the missing link coated braid. As you can see here, I've just stripped back a small amount of the coating to give this hook 360 degree movement. Uh, I've used an oval rig ring here to, to create the combi link. Uh, it's a very simple rig, easy to tie, no complicated knots. It's a good one. Third rig I'm going to show you is a little pop-up rig. Right gem, this one. It's a micro rig ring swivel to create a combi link. Use a small amount of the Klingon tungsten putty moulded around the swivel. It's actually set up blowback style with a 1.5mm inside diameter rig ring. A little bit of silicon tubing on the hook eye again. Nothing complicated here. Fourth and final rig I'm going to talk you through today, it's a personal favourite of mine this one and it's a variation on the hinge stiff rig. As ever, I've got this bungee section, on the end here I've just tied up a small chod like arrangement with a micro rig ring swivel and a bit of bristle filament. The reason I think it's so effective, well on the lakes that have been really hammered with a chod rig, this gives them something different for them to deal with and I'll show you why. Okay, here we have a conventional braided hook length. Here we have the trigger link which has been pre-soaked, so it's got that elasticity. So here we've got a standard braided hook link. I believe it when those really riggy carp, pick up your rig, feel the weight of that lead, they shake their head and the hook's fallen out. The difference with the trigger link is by the time they've felt the weight of that lead, the hook link's fully extended. So this is now under tension. There's no way that fish can shake its head and spit your hook out. That is why I think trigger link's gonna help you put more fish on the bank. A couple of other points worth mentioning here. If you're going to use Trigger Link, I'd highly recommend getting yourself one of these little tools, the hook eye threader from Nash. Simply take your hook eye threader, put it through the eye of your hook, take your Trigger Link, quickly and easily you can thread it through the eye of the hook. Secondly, it's the coloration of the braid. It's quite light. Now this is fine on the lighter bottoms like sand or gravel, but over the silt and the weed, I like to just dull it down a bit. Easily done, just take a little bit of mud, rub it down the braid, and as you can see, it's darkening it off nicely. Which makes it that little bit more subtle, more presentable. 